Greetings everyone and welcome to a review of the Playmobil Super 4 Gorilla set, I guess. Let's just open it and see what's actually inside. So, first off, we have the Gorilla itself, which uh, doesn't really look that playmobil -y, but also doesn't really... I don't know, it doesn't really look like it would fit into many displays other than a Playmobil display. Um, articulation is actually pretty good on it, which might as well go over that immediately. We do have a hinge on the neck, which allows for back and forward. The forward's pretty much neutral, though. At the arm, you have out rotation and then at the wrist I suppose there is supposed to be rotation but it's very tight I almost feel like I'm snapping it by doing it I've also kind of got it stuck there but uh yeah it should be able to rotate fully I think on this side it's a little bit looser okay <laughs> no it's, it's just as tight but you can rotate on that side a little bit easier this side's a little bit more fiddly but it does work and then at the legs you've got forward and back not terrible. Nothing in the ri uh, the ankles, sorry. Um, overall, just like, isn't this a nice little thing? It's really weirdly moulded on the back with this, like, chunk that's just, like, separate. I don't know whether that's to do with how it's put together or something like that, but it just looks very weird to have seam lines in that very specific way. But, yeah, overall, it's got a nice little paint to the face. Looks looks pretty cute, honestly, and overall, it's it's a pretty interesting little thing. Next up, we do have the, I guess, the businessman. I'm not really sure what he's actually supposed to be, but he's a man in a suit with some spiky hair and uh, a weird mustache. I don't really know what to make of this, really. It doesn't really make sense to be in a set with a gorilla. Um, by the way, the scale-wise, gorilla is, its entire head is that, how much taller it is than the figure. Um... I mean, that seems kind of realistic. Very wide. Um, but yeah, I'd, I, this is a really weird set. I don't know why this guy's just wearing a suit rather than, like, some sort of zookeeper gear or maybe, like, a, a vet's outfit or something. Unless that's what this is supposed to be. Maybe this is supposed to be a vet outfit. I'm not completely sure. And then for accessories, you do get a small bunch of bananas. Um, it is hollow on the other side, which is kind of disappointing. I do think, though... Um, I think you can actually fit it in the hands, yep, yeah, there we go, of the characters, which is pretty fun. So you can have him feeding the gorilla, I suppose. It, it It's something. I, I, I'm not against it. It's just a little bit odd. And then the main accessory is actually for the gorilla himself, and it's little suction cups that you can use to climb things, which, uh is definitely something of interest. Uh, I don't think I have anything to really uh, climb with, to climb onto, should I say, but uh, in fact, let, let's let's try it. I don't think it's gonna work with the fabric background. No, it's not. Um, give me a second and I'll set it up on a wall and hopefully that should work. It doesn't really work on walls, but I did manage to find just an old TV that I had laying around and obviously glass is the primary use for it. It's a weird effect, I'm not huge on it. You could probably actually attach the suction directly to the little black parts that are in his hand, which would make it look more like he's climbing himself. Uh, but this is this is cool. I'm sure, you know, plenty of people would really enjoy messing around with this. It's not really something for me, but that's just my opinion. And that is going to be it for this review. And honestly, it's a very interesting little set. I will say, though, the box that the set actually comes in is considerably bigger than the amount of stuff you get, and it's all just bagged up anyway. It's like a Lego set sort of deal. So, if you see this on a shop shelf, uh, I think Poundland is currently selling them for £5, which makes no sense, but you know what I mean. I, I, I think you can get them cheaper other places, and on the shelf, they look like they're probably going to have a lot more. I was actually expecting the gorilla itself to be a lot bigger than it actually is. But, all in all, I think it's still a little fun. It's just a nice little set. If you're someone who has a lot of Playmobil, like I'm starting to because of um, recent videos, I mean, it's a, it's a nice little addition, and that's all I can really say about it. So, that's going to be it for this review. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time. Bye!